So guys, it's really simple. Move your cursor over the pen tool, left click, hold, select the eclipse tool from there. Then left click, drag to draw the circle, hold shift to maintain the shape of the circle. Select the selection tool. Now go to right side, essential graphics. If it's not here, go to window, then check essential graphics from here. Disable the fill, enable the stroke, choose the size you want, center the circle. Now go to left side, select the effect. If our effect is not here, click on this arrow, then select the effect from here, then search for radial, R-A-D-I-A-L. Then under the video effect, radial wipe, left click hold, drag and drop over our clip. Now go to top left, effect control. If it's not here, click on this arrow, then effect control. There we have our radial wipe. Move our playhead to the first frame. Then click on this stopwatch to make a keyframe. Then move the playhead. Suppose we want the progress bar for 4 seconds. So let's move it to 4 seconds. Then go to top left. Click on this small dot. Now click on the back arrow. Increase the transition completion to 100%. Now if we try to run. So here we have our progress bar. Suppose we want to change the direction. So for that, change from clockwise to counterclockwise. Let's bring our video. Go to effect. Then search for circle. Tap click hold, drag and drop. Control panel, change the blend mode from none to stencil alpha. Increase the radius. Now the most important part, if we select our graphics and move it from the center, it will not work as you can see. As you can see, it will not work. So what's the solution? If we want to move only the progress bar, we will right click on the graphics clip, then nest it. If we want to move both of them, select both of them, right click, nest. Just name is progress, then press on OK. Now we can move it wherever we want. Let's see what we have. Sequence, render in and out. See guys, it's really that simple. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.